Welcome back to Evie's Best Bites. Today I'm going to be making breakfast for all my flatmates. The house is full today. And I'm going to be making shakshuka, which is a Middle Eastern breakfast egg dish. Um, I absolutely love this dish and I've kind of made my own version of it from what stuff I have you know, to make it really affordable. When I was unwell and I was only eating certain things, I had to get really creative with eggs because eggs was something I could eat. Um, and it's so good to have protein and it's a really, really healthy dish. And I think more people should cook it in the morning. It's really tasty. So here's me uh, heading to the kitchen. For today's shakshuka, we've got one onion diced two red pepper, diced, some spinach, some peas, some fresh coriander, just oh, coarsely yeah. chopped. We've got some natural yogurt. Um, then over here, two cans of, this is for six people, two cans of chopped tomatoes. I've got ground cumin, cayenne pepper, mild chili powder. Um, to be honest, they're three that I would say you should just totally have, and they're really, really cheap. Um, then I've got some tomato puree, garlic, which I'm going to crush in, uh, salt, pepper, some za'atar, which I love. That's just my little extra thing that I like to put on top. Um, it's great, actually. I think you should get some. If you, if this is totally optional, just over the top of the eggs, so don't worry if you don't have it. However, if you want to put it on, go grab some. It's great. Um, and then I've got eggs. So I'm going to use two pans again because I've got six people. If there's only, you know, one, two or three, obviously just use one pan. Um, but yeah, I've got, I've got a two pan situation going on again because I've got all my mates here. So half of the onion in one. I want it on a really low heat. You just want them to sweat. And you're just gonna let those sweat, moving them around for about five minutes. So I've got two peppers here diced, so I'm gonna put half in one and half in the other. So we want this on a medium to low heat, so it's just cooking away. Darkness, my old friend. So one garlic clove in each pan. My flatmates like garlic <laughs> a lot. <laughs> I mean, I'm not necessarily sure that I want to start the day like humming in a garlic, but they fan. So we've got our red. Now we're getting our green on. So half the spinach, half in there. Follow me putting it in. <laughs> no, we're not going to show you that, are we? No. No. So this dish is originally called baked eggs, but because we don't have a skillet pan, I mean, I don't know many <laughs> houses um, that, you know, especially with young professionals that has a skillet pan. So um, because we don't, I'm just using two pans. And so actually, we're not going to bake them. We're just going to keep it blipping away on the, on the hob. So I'm going to put half a teaspoon in each. So obviously, if you're just making it three, just half a teaspoon. So I'm going. Mild chilli powder, you can obviously go hot depending on your uh, spice. Ground cumin, now ground cumin is the most important for shakshuka, that is an integral part of shakshuka. You can go extra on that if you want. And cayenne pepper is going to give it a bit of spice. We really want to cook those spices off because we don't want raw spices, so just coat everything in the spices. So. And get chopped, get small chopped ones, much better. Now I'm going to turn it up a little bit because we want the tomatoes to really uh, juice. Now I'm going to add half a piece. So now I'm going to do one tablespoon of puree. Got some fresh coriander, half in one, more green to the green and red, half in the other. Yeah, it tastes really good. And it's just got a tiny bit of heat. I might bang in a little bit more heat, but I think that's perfect for my flatmates because I'm still feeling it on back of throat. I just want to make sure that those onions are nice and soft, so I'm just going to keep it flipping away before I, uh... oh, that's good, before I, um... oh, tomatoes are so sweet, um, before I put the eggs in. What we're looking for is it just start reducing. There you go, so you know it holds in place. You're going to make a little well like that. I'm actually going to turn it down a tiny bit. It's on, it's on a pretty medium <gasps> to low heat. So make a little well. 
your egg. Crack it on the corner and then fill up that little hole. Make a little well. Fill up that hole. Make a little well. Fill up that hole. Make a little well. Fill up that hole. There you go. And try and make them make sure they're separate. Good. Right, so once all the whites are done, they're still runny. My favourite thing. A little bit of za'atar, Middle Eastern. Over the eggs. Some fresh coriander. Let me know how your dishes go. Like and subscribe.